Hi my friends, hi again. Um, I just wanted to read you a story for this week and do a little meditation. So um, maybe you're doing this right after our lesson we had, or maybe you're doing this a different day, so it's up to you. Um, but yeah, so the story I'm reading to you is called Nicole's Boat. And this is a story that I loved so much when I was a little girl. And I still love this story. And I read it to Sloan, so I wanted to read it to you. Okay, Nicole's Boat. One night, just before it was time for sleep, Nicole was playing with her animals in bed. This is our boat, she said, and I am the captain. But before they were able to sail away, her father came in to say goodnight and turn off the light. Time for bed, he said. Not yet, said Nicole, and she told him all about the boat she was making and how she was taking her animals too. I can't sleep now, she explained. I have to sail away for a while. The father smiled. Lie back in bed, he said, and close your eyes. I'll tell you a story to sail away by. Once upon a time, not long ago, a girl named Nicole was sailing away to the end of the day down the long winding river that goes to the sea. And she saw a crow as she sailed along. She was weaving a nest from the long, tall grass that grew in the meadow. Where are you going? The crow asked Nicole. I am sailing away to the end of the day down the long, winding river that goes to the sea, she said. May I come with you? asked the crow. Yes, you may, said Nicole. There's room in the boat for a crow, you know. But if you come, you'll have to bring something to make the boat better. I can bring the grass, said the crow. So Nicole helped the crow to gather the grass that grew in the meadow and they wove a sail together. Then the crow got into the boat and Nicole and the crow went sailing away to the end of the day down the long winding river that goes to the sea. And they saw a crow as they sailed along. Sorry, and they saw a cow as they sailed along. She was singing a song and eating the flowers that grew in the meadow. Where are you going? The cow asked Nicole. I am sailing away to the end of the day down the long winding river that goes to the sea, she said. May I come with you? asked the cow. Yes, you may, said Nicole. There's room in the boat for a cow somehow, but if you come, you'll have to bring something to make the boat better. I can bring the flowers, said the cow. So Nicole and the cow picked the flowers that grew in the meadow and they made some ropes to hold the sail. Then the cow got into the boat, Nicole and the crow and the cow went sailing away to the end of the day down the long winding river that goes to the sea. And they saw some kittens as they sailed along and the kittens were racing and bouncing and pouncing and chasing the wind that blew in the meadow. Where are you going, the kittens asked Nicole. I am sailing away to the end of the day down the long winding river that goes to the sea, she said. May we come with you, asked the kittens. Yes, you may, said Nicole. There's room in the boat for some kittens. You'll fit in, but you'll, you come, if you come, you'll have to bring something to make the boat better. We can bring the wind, said the kittens. So Nicole helped the kittens to chase the wind up into the boat and they told the wind to blow past the mast and onto the sail to make them go faster. Then the kittens got into the boat and Nicole and the crow and the cow and the kittens went sailing away to the end of the day down the long winding river that goes to the sea. They sailed and they sailed for hours and hours with a sail made from grass held by ropes made by flowers with the cow in the bow and the kittens astern, taking turns making sure that the wind filled the sails, and the crow sat on top of the mast in his nest to see where the sea was and to look out for whales. They sailed that way all through 
a good day. Until by and by, when the sun in the sky began setting, they came to the end of the long winding river. And so it was then that Nicole and her friends all sailed away out to the sea. Good night. Sleep tight. May the moon and the stars all lend you their light as you sail away through the sea of night. The night is quite wide when the sea is in sight, so ride the right waves as you brave the night sea. There are faraway shores to explore and discover. Go, discover them. I will wait here for you to return with the morning. Bring me the story of all that you see. Good night, sweet dreams. Love you. That's the end. Isn't that a pretty book? Yeah. So we're going to do something that kind of connects this a little bit about being a starfish. So maybe um, you've used some of your breathing this week. You've done the rainbow breathing, the rainbow meditation. We've done uh, some affirmations. And last week we did our rock, our rock breathing in, our rock bodies. And then we did our butterfly breathing to calm ourselves and to feel our rhythm resetting. So today, um, this one's about being a starfish. So if you can, what I would love is for you to lie down right now. And maybe there's a part where you can still hear me, but you can lie in the sun. So a lot of times in our houses with our windows open, the sun comes in through the windows and there's usually a part maybe we can see on the ground where it's sunnier, like in our classroom sometimes we can make shadows because we have sunny spots. So maybe you can go lie in the sunny spot and feel the sun on your body. So that's kind of what we want to do. And I want you to close your eyes and stretch out. So you're going to have your arms up and your legs out and you're going to close your eyes and you're going to pretend in your head, you're going to pretend in your head that you are a starfish. Okay? And we're going to pretend that you have your five legs, so you're going to have your two arms, your two legs out, and then your head's going to be your kind of your fifth arm. So you're going to have your five starfish points. And let's get comfortable. Spread your arms out and your legs out. Close your eyes and just start to feel the sun on your body. So you're going to feel the warmth of the sun coming down onto your outstretched body. I want you to take a deep breath. Another one. Imagine you're a starfish, a beautiful starfish lying in the sun. Feel the warmth of the sun all over your body. What color are you? Are you pink? Do you feel purple? Maybe you're red or orange. Any color you want to be, you can be that color. A beautiful, bright color lying in the sun on the edge of the ocean. Row and row a tiny tube feet are underneath you and they're holding you safe and stuck to the rocks that you're on. As the water and the waves come over to your body and away, and the whole time you're lying in the sun, you are relaxing. You can feel very still, very safe, very warm, and very secure. In your mind, you can say, I am safe. I am relaxed. I am very peaceful. 
I am safe. I am relaxed. I am very peaceful. You have eye spots on each arm, so you know it's a beautiful day all around you. Notice your breath as you breathe in and out. As you breathe in, you take the sunshine into your body and it flows through all of your arms and fills you up. Your breath is gentle and quiet. As you soak up the sunshine, the sunshine is Earth's love for you and it's filling you up and you feel safe, you feel relaxed, and you feel very peaceful. Every breath in, you fill up with some more sunshine. your body up, unstick your limbs from the rock that you are so securely on, and come to seating. And that's our little meditation. So you can always stay as a starfish for longer and keep imagining what color you are and how warm the sun's making you and how safe you are and how relaxed and at peace and how much that sunlight fills you up and how every time the sun is shining and you feel it during the day, that's the love of the earth that's filling us up. Okay, so I hope you have fun doing that. You can do it more than one time or um, try it with your family members, whatever you want to do. All right, so that's it for me today, my friends. You had your story and a little fun meditation. And I hope you have a beautiful day. I'm going to go lie in the sun somewhere inside my house. Maybe it'll get warm enough. I can lie outside one of these days. And um, yeah. All right. I love you. I'll see you soon.